the change that's going on in our industry is as big as it ever was. And it's really a time to be creative and to launch innovative concepts and, and to, yeah, to change the world, basically, in how content can be created. In the old days, you would get out there with an OB truck or a fly pack. Um, you would have camera heads, you would have CCUs, you would have a baseband switcher. We have a ton of copper cables, GPIs, everything is connected to each other. With the new cameras that we got from Grass Valley, the LDX100 and 150, everything is now virtual and digital. The only thing we need to do is plug in a fiber into the camera. And you have directly all the signals available inside our IP domain. So you don't need any more a IP conversion to baseband to have it available in your Kahuna or your mixer of what else. What we see is that uh, content rights are getting more expensive uh, year on year. Um, we see the amount of viewers per platform getting lower because of the amount of platforms and content that is, that is uh, offered to the audience. The technology uh, provided by Cross Valley helps NEP to scale up, scale down, to be efficient, to be flexible, to lower our footprint at a cost-efficient uh, level. If we look at, uh, for instance, the past Olympics in uh, Beijing, the amount of people that we needed to send on site was way lower than before. And also the amount of cargo that was uh, flown there was way less in amount than, than before. Uh, so we had the OBS feeds and we have four cameras of our own. So we could do more close-ups from uh, Dutch caterers. So that's a lot of benefits for our Dutch viewers. Normally you have a, a lot of delay, the director is saying something, you have to delay from the intercom, you have to delay from the signal, and now the connection from Amsterdam to Beijing was just 120 milliseconds delay, and that's stunning, that's, that's great. Yeah. Presenters could have a dialogue, and they could tell the story way better than with the traditional satellite links where latency always um, makes a, a real dialogue difficult. Wat er fijn is, is omdat we hier glasvezelverbindingen hebben die niet al te veel capaciteit heeft, kunnen we met de nieuwe camera's kunnen we comprimeren. En op die manier kunnen we toch die camera's aan de production control room in Hilfsum hangen, 50 kilometer verderop. En volledig vanuit daar bedienen en shaden. En dat maakt deze camera wel echt uniek voor een productie als deze. Ja. We can easier get content to the viewer. You just deploy the camera, plug it into the network, and you can create a show. Ja, hij kan Na drie jaar is Lowlands terug en hoe het publiek is uitzinnig en wij ook. Ja, en we hebben een uitzending vol met prachtige optredens van de Opposites, Goldband, Evie de Visser en natuurlijk ook interviews. Vanavond om tien voor elf op MPO 3. Kijk er dus. Yay! When I saw the camera for the first time, it was uh, the image was really good. We have two f-stop more than we used to. We have a lot more intensity on our iris and the image quality is stunning. So in UHD and in HD, SDR as well, HDR, that's, that's a really great picture from the LDX on that series. From a client point of view, it could be scary, but it's a little bit a change of mindset and a little bit of training of the engineers. But if you have your control system set up correctly and you have a tight integration, people will get more confident over time with it because they plug it in, it just works. It is a really exciting time to be creative with technology where we can mix and match technologies and use them in a way never, never done before.